Today we're going to talk about a designed experiment in the EV industry around regenerative braking. Specifically, we'll look at two different designs of a brake and see how the speed and the deceleration, as well as the two different designs, affect how much energy is recuperated. So to do that, we're going to use Minitab's design of experiments and specifically a response surface design. So I'll go to Minitab, choose STAT, DOE, and response surface. The reason why I've chosen a response surface design is because this design will work well for a small number of factors, we have three here, and allows us to model things like curved effects, which may exist. So I'll create my response surface design I'm using the popular central composite design. I have two continuous factors, that's the deceleration and the speed, and one categorical factor, which is comparing the two different brake designs. In design, here's a little trick for you. I often use a face-centered design because that will allow uh, the high and low levels to be the extremes and not pick design points outside of the extremes. In factors, I can fill out all my factor information, such as I've got speed, I've got uh, deceleration, and I have design. I can put in the high and low levels, etc. but I've already done that for you, so we won't worry about this too much. And click OK. Minitab has created the perfect design for looking at this problem. It gives you automatically the different speed settings, the different deceleration settings, and we are comparing design A to design B of the braking design. Now what do I do? I run this experiment. So this is going to take 26 runs to look at these combinations of settings. They are in random order and I'll run them in the order that Minitab gives me and collect my data. So here's my data. Now all I need to do is go to STAT, DOE, response surface, analyze my response surface design by putting in my outcome variable, the energy recovered, that's what we measured. I might want to uh, change my model, but usually the default is just what you want to do. And I'm going to make model selection easy by turning on a stepwise procedure. That's it. Click OK. And we will see our results of it turns out that that design did make a difference design a versus design b the p-value is significant less than 0.05 as well as the speed now if i want to look a little further at my analysis once i have run the general analysis i can look at graphs around that so for example i'm going to look at the factorial plots because this will give me the optimal settings there weren't any interactions in this case um, not surprisingly, the speed I'm driving, as I, when I start braking, the higher the speed, I'm going to actually have a better recovery of energy. But what's more important to my problem is it looks like my new design B of the braking system actually increased the average energy recovered. This is pretty powerful when you think about the money saved and the improvement that this gives our electric vehicles. As an owner of an electric vehicle, I encourage you to do some experiments to make my vehicle run even better.